Hi, this is Dick. And this is Sam. With Michigan Adventure Life, and we're about to do a fan boat adventure in the bayou. We're gonna go see some gators. <laughs> Woohoo! Dick tip. To tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile, crocs have more of a V-shaped snout with teeth coming out. Rule of thumb for gators, the length of their head in inches equals the length of their entire body in feet. Alright, welcome to the swamp. I'm going to tell you everything about the swamp, the wildlife here. Seven inches, seven foot. Only going to see side to side, he don't know it's on his nose. Dick tip. Find out the gender of a gator. Look between his two <laughs> legs. Ready? <laughs> Recording. Dick tip. To find the gender of a gator. <laughs> Dick tip. To find out the gender of the gator, you look between the two hind legs and see. I'm not going to assume this gator's gender though. <laughs> Dick tip. If you ever grab a gator, grab it by the neck and the base of the tail. That way you can keep it under control. So you go down one nostril right now. Five toes in the front, four in the back. This is how you tell male or female, just watch out for the Gatorade. It's called a cloaca. You gotta get in there and check them out. Another way, if it's over 10 foot, it's a male. He loves this. <laughs> Raw chicken, goldfish, and crawfish is what he eats. <laughs> you wanna hold him around the neck and butt it down. Where's the back? Right here. Dick tip. If you're gonna fish for seafood like shrimp and then cook them up, make sure to devein them, aka take the poop out. A real albino gator. He's a big boy too. 